Move your legs up. Move your f***ing legs up. No, I don't want to have sex. I don't give a you want you shit. Me Shut up! Eight football players who became criminal. Hi lads and welcome to Tell Me Football, a collection of football stories. Today, we are going to show you eight football players who became criminals. Anyone can commit a crime, including football players. Being a football player is not a guarantee that they won't do anything bad, even evil. Many football players have committed various crimes in their lives, even the top players that we know. So, Without any further ado, let's get into it. Number 1. Benjamin Mendy I think most of us know what happened with the French left-back. In 2021, Benjamin Mendy had been charged with four counts of rape and one count of sexual assault. Authorities in the United Kingdom said that the alleged assaults occurred between October 2020 and August 2021. His club, Manchester City, subsequently announced that Mendy had been suspended after he was arrested in August 2021. Later on, these initial charges were added with new charges as more women filed complaints against him. As of January 2023, Mendy has been cleared of six counts of rape and one count of sexual assault after a trial which began in August 2022. However, the jury has been unable to reach verdicts on the two other charges against the Manchester City defender. One count of rape involving a woman aged 24 in October 2020 and one count of attempted rape involving a woman aged 29 in October 2018. So Mendy will face a retrial in June over those two charges. But still, even after Mendy was cleared of most of his cases, he became one of the most disgraced footballers of all time. Number 2. Joey Barton Joey Barton is an English footballer who has made 269 appearances in the Premier League. The former player is currently the manager of League One side Bristol Rovers. Barton has been convicted of assault, criminal damage and various other offences. He also gained notoriety for his rage on the field. In December 2007, Barton assaulted a man by punching him in the face rapidly and then attacking a teenage boy outside a shop. He then was jailed for six months due to his act. In the same year, he was involved in a training ground incident when he still played for Manchester City. His teammate, Usman Dabo, commented that Barton was a coward. Barton reportedly hit him from behind and continued his assault until Dabo became unconscious. He admitted his assault and was given a four-month suspended jail sentence in 2008. Another incident occurred in 2012 when he was playing with QPR in the last match of the Premier League against Manchester City. Barton was sent off following elbowing Carlos Tevez and was later found guilty for kneeing Sergio Aguero from behind and then headbutting Vincent Kompany. He also committed several more crimes in his life, such as giving a harsh tackle to Xabi Alonso who was just playing the ball in the corner off the pitch. Even retiring didn't stop his acts, as he has been charged with assault after beating a woman in London when he was the manager of Bristol Rovers in 2021. This woman then suffered a head injury. Number 3. Jermaine Pennant Jermaine Pennant was born in Nottingham and burst into the football scene as a teenager and became a 2 million signing at just 15, making his debut for Arsenal. He also scored a hat-trick on his full Premier League debut, aged 20. However, he was later shipped out on loan to various clubs and he had some personal problems in his life. In February 2004, Pennant was given a 16-month driving ban after being caught drink driving in Paddington. Later on in January 2005, he did a very similar thing and was arrested. He was charged with drink driving and driving while uninsured after crashing his Mercedes into a lamppost in Aylesbury. During questioning, Pennant even initially identified himself as his friend, Ashley Cole. He was finally sentenced to 90 days in prison, but after 30 days, he was released on parole as his club Birmingham City stood by him. However, he had to wear an electronic tag on his ankle all the time, including on the pitch. His problematic driving didn't stop there, as he was arrested again for drink driving, driving while disqualified and without insurance after being involved in a traffic collision. Pennant was given an 8-week jail sentence, banned from driving for 3 years and suspended for a year. Number 4. Adam Johnson the former England international was also one of the footballers in this list. In 2016, Adam Johnson was sentenced to six years in prison at Bradford Crown Court after being found guilty of one count of sexual activity with a child. The former Sunderland and Manchester City star had pleaded guilty to two other charges of kissing and grooming a 15-year-old girl. According to the judge, the girl in question was a massive Sunderland fan. Johnson was promptly sacked by Sunderland and dropped by boot sponsor Adidas after he pleaded guilty ahead of the trial. 
Adam Johnson was released in 2019 after half of his six-year sentence. Number 5. Bruno Fernandes Bruno Fernandes, but wait, this isn't the Manchester United midfielder that we know. He is Bruno Fernandes de Souza, a Brazilian goalkeeper, and was trophy-winning goalkeeper at the Brazilian Serie A club Flamengo between 2007 and 2009. But who would have thought that he had this cruel and evil side of him? Bruno Fernandes was convicted for ordering the murder of his ex-girlfriend Eliza Samudio in 2010. He was found guilty of hiding Samudio's body and kidnapping the couple's son. Fernandes has maintained that he knew of the killing but had no other involvement, but soon after, his friend who was contracted by him to kill his ex revealed that Fernandes was the orchestrator. Fernandes was charged with ordering the murder of Samudio after she had requested child support from the Brazilian football star. He was finally sentenced to 22 years imprisonment in March 2013. Number 6. Lee Hughes Lee Hughes is also among the footballers who had killed someone. The former West Bromwich Albion profile was arrested on suspicion of causing death by dangerous driving. In November 2003, near his home in the West Midlands, Hughes lost control of his Mercedes and went onto the wrong side of the road before colliding with a Renault Senec. A passenger in the Renault, Douglas Graham, was killed in the incident, whilst his wife and the driver were severely injured. Hughes and his passenger fled the scene before turning themselves into the police 36 hours later. He initially denied the charge, but later on pleaded guilty to charges of failing to stop and failing to report an accident. It was alleged that Hughes was operating his vehicle at an excessive speed during wet weather, and his driving was described as being reckless or erratic. In August 2004, Hughes was found guilty of causing death by dangerous driving, and was sentenced to six years of imprisonment. Number 7. Mason Greenwood We all know this English player and Manchester United youngster. Hurry up, needs a Move your legs up. Move your f***ing legs up. No, I don't want to have sex. I don't give a f***ing you want, you shit. Mason. Shut up. Mason Greenwood was detained in January 2022 on suspicion of sexual violation, physical assault, and murder threats. Later, in October 2022, he was charged with attempted rape, engaging in controlling and coercive behaviour, and assault, occasioning actual bodily harm. His ex-girlfriend released a voice recording online where he assaulted her. Manchester United suspended Greenwood from playing and training due to the pending investigation. After Greenwood's arrest in January, Nike ended its sponsorship deal with the player, and also Electronic Arts removed him from active squads on its FIFA 22 game. In February 2023, Greenwood had the criminal charges against him for attempted rape dropped by the prosecutors, as key witnesses had withdrawn their cooperation from the investigation. Number 8. Dani Alves Last but not least, Dani Alves. Dani Alves is one of the most successful players, winning major titles with several clubs, including Barcelona, Juventus, and Paris Saint-Germain. But his image as a top footballer had to be shattered because of the crime that he had done. Alves was arrested in January 2023 after being accused of sexually assaulting a woman in Spain. The alleged attack took place at an exclusive nightclub in downtown Barcelona. Alves had denied any wrongdoing several days before his arrest. The former Barcelona star was taken into custody after he answered a police summons while in Spain. State prosecutors had asked him to be held without bail, and the judge agreed. He will remain in custody until trial, at a still unspecified date. Alves signed for Pumas in July, and the Mexican club was immediately terminating his contract. Pumas president Leopoldo Silva said that his club could not keep Alves on the squad. So, that's some of the footballers who committed crimes in various ways. Comment down below what you think about these cases, as we'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed the video, drop us a like, and subscribe to our channel for more football stories.